So when Jesus is saying, I'm Alpha and Omega, right? You're not focusing on my question. My question is about... So are you claiming that Jesus is God? My question is, can anyone other than God be eternal? Are you claiming that Jesus is God? Why are you evading the question? I'm not evading the question. You are. I'm trying to make understanding of your question. Do you know what my question is? Your question, can anyone be eternal other than God? No. Yes, exactly. So when Jesus says he's Alpha and Omega, you gave me the meaning. No, seriously, let me finish. You said to me. I haven't finished my question yet. You said to me. I've already given you the answer. No, you haven't. I said, what is the answer? I said, as I said, I said no one can be eternal other than God. But thank you very much. Oh, so let me finish. Yes. Okay. So when Jesus, when you said to me, what is the but? Tell me the but. I'll tell you but. You said to me that Alpha and Omega means no beginning, no end. And Jesus, from His own words, you said, show me where Jesus says He is good. From His own words, He says, I am Alpha and Omega. And you said, show me Jesus saying He's good. Who is the eternal so now, oh, 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 Let me finish. So now you're saying that Jesus is good in your own words. No, no. You're refusing your own self. You did. Should I tell you why? You just did. Because you said no one other than you agreed. <laughs> you just refused yourself. No, no, no. You, you wanted Jesus worth saying is God and you, in, in the meaning of your context. You, you said, want me to explain myself? Okay. okay. If that, you have already confirmed that no one other than God can be eternal. Am I right so far? According to which uh, term? Alpha according, and Omega? According to your understanding. In terms of Alpha and Omega? No, according to your understanding. So you don't want Alpha the and Omega? The word eternal. I'm only focusing on no, the word. We're talking about Alpha and Omega. I'm focusing on the word eternal. Can, no one other than God can be eternal. Do you agree on I that? I agree with that. Thank you very much. Is Melchizedek eternal? Is Melchizedek eternal? I have to look at it. There's no beginning and no end. You have to look at it. Of course he's eternal. Is Melchizedek God? Is Melchizedek God? I haven't seen, I haven't so, so after that question. I'm asking, so I haven't looked at that question. Well, I'm asking you the question. Can I tell you why? 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 Because in the scripture, it says Jesus was a priest under the order of Melchizedek. Yes. Right? Which means he's not Jesus. So, whoa, 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 whoa. so that also means to show that, for example, there's a spirit of God. What? Right. Melchizedek was a spirit of God. No, 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 I said there is a spirit of God. And that spirit is referred to as also is eternal. Right? Is Melchizedek eternal or not? Can I finish to... my point? I've told you, I've no, already given you the answer. No, you haven't. So, okay, let me because ask you. Because you contradicted yourself. Let's, no, I never contradicted myself. Should I tell you how you I said it? to you, I, I said to you, I said to you clearly, I said, I said to you, I have not looked into Melchizedek's eternity uh, um, yet. Right? That's what I said. You haven't come across Hebrews 7 3? I've, I've heard him say that. Okay, I'll, I'll repeat and I'll tell you what the verse is. Yeah, sure, right. Now, you said to me, show me a verse where Jesus says he's good. Yes, he's right? good. Okay, I said Alpha and Omega yeah. verse. You said, I then said, you said referred, you referred that same um, 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 uh, uh, title to Melchizedek. Yes. And then you, uh, you not said, the same title, the same reference in terms of eternity. You, so you inferred the same title. We can't change it now. You said that. That's what I was arguing. No, no, I didn't say. I, I didn't say the title was given to Melchizedek. I never said. That. No, you, you said. You, I said. The okay, meaning so what, of, was the, what was the meaning of Alpha and Omega? So if you let me finish, okay, okay. Alpha and Omega, from what I understand, is basically the first letter and the last letter of Greek. Which, in other words, they're trying to imply that he's the beginning and he's the end. But you said to me that Alpha Here and Omega... Here we are, now we Okay. Okay? So basically, in other words, they're loosely trying to say that Jesus is eternal in Revelations. Okay. Okay? And then I brought up the question about Melchizedek. I said, based on that, Melchizedek should also be God. Because okay. in, in, in Hebrews 7.3, he says he has no, no mother, no father, no genealogy, yes. no beginning of days and no end of time. Okay. Fair so enough. you see, because fair enough. I'll tell you now I'll tell you how you contradict yourself. Because you said no one other than God can be eternal. Am I right? Fair, fair, enough, okay. fair enough. But based on that verse, Melchizedek is eternal. But also based on the same verse, Jesus is eternal. Jesus is God. Yes, yeah, so why didn't you worship so, Jesus? So and why so, didn't you okay, worship that's Melchizedek? Not the, that's as well? That was not that, okay. You put in Melchizedek to, to, to probably shift the shift the bait, right? So what no, I didn't shift anything. So, so what I I'm, want you to be consistent. No, 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 that's all. So what I'm trying to say is this here. So you said your argument is show me a verse where Jesus says is God. You said only you said to me that only God can be eternal, right? Yes. Okay. So in that you verse, agreed. Jesus says, I am Alpha and Omega. So isn't that claiming that Jesus is God? From his own lips? If you're going to tell me... From his own lips. Can I answer the way okay. I want? Okay? If you're going to be consistent, then you should be worshipping Melchizedek because right. he's so, eternal so, so, and... Hold on, I haven't okay. finished. Okay. okay? If Jesus is eternal based on the revelation verse, mm -hmm. yes, and I agree, it can't mean that. Okay, I totally agree. Okay, then you should be consistent. So when you hold oh, no, on, I haven't finished. I know what you're saying. Let me finish. No, no, let you me said, finish. Okay, let me finish. You said I should be consistent no. and worship Melchizedek. That's what you want to say. Yes. yes. And why would you not? Okay. 
So let me go back to what I'm saying. We're not going to go and hold on to them because of the thing. Why? Why? Because the first thing we'll be having the discussion, you told me. Why are you the one who's going to make this? Because that's moving a bit. You said no, to me, show me a verse. Not. You said show me a verse where Jesus says, okay, he's worship. Okay, we're going to be keep shifting. No, I'm uh, shifting at I told you. I'm and saying I also be consistent. I also that's said, to, I, also said to you, I also said to you, if you clear, I also said to you that I haven't looked into Melchizedek. Uh, um, you haven't read Hebrews 7 -3. I have not looked deep into his eternity. And you read Hebrews 7 3. Why are you not listening to what I'm, I'm saying? I'm just saying, asking questions. You said, Have I read it? I said, I haven't looked deep into it. Okay, finish, done. Okay? What is deep? Melchizedek, no, 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 let's move on side. No, no, no. Wait, no let's stick on to Alpha and Omega. When you say you haven't looked let's deep into it, can I move into it? No, I don't you cannot. Discuss. You cannot. I won't let you get away from I won't let you get away from me. That's fine. I've already agreed about Alpha and Omega. So, Jesus is God. Based on that, wait, based on that, he's eternal. He's God, yeah? Yes, he's eternal. He's God. Eternal. So he means be? God is eternal. Right? And so is Melchizedek, huh? Hey, we're gonna skip again. This is what I'm, I'm trying to say. Skipping. Let's I'm skipping. Let's stick consistent. Let's stick on. Guys, do you see the problem? Admit that Jesus is okay. God from that verse. Do you, do you guys see the problem? Can you see okay. the problem Because too? what he's saying is that. Can you see my problem? Oh, yes, you do see your problem. Okay, cool. you've got big ones. <laughs> do you see the, your, your problem? <laughs> the problem that he doesn't want to admit that. I, I said, look, based on that verse, it's eternal, I told you already. So that, what does that also imply? Okay. Now, what, else, what does that also It implies this, that only God is eternal. So that means Jesus is God. Can I finish? Stop interrupting. Can I finish? <laughs> only God is eternal. Which means Jesus Yes. Yeah. But your Bible, but according Jesus to... Jesus had, had the beginning, anyway. But it's, this, this is what he's saying. He's saying that right. Alpha and Omega. I don't want to interfere, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's cool. So let me explain to you because you right, interfered okay. now. And, <laughs> so you can't just make a comment and then just try to jump out of it. Right. I'm right? going to jump on him based on that one comment. Do you know what I mean? Well, he, he, he jumped on me based on one comment. He didn't jump. All right. All right. So, okay, anyway. Okay. So let, let me finish my point, right? Alpha and Omega, I caught, we, we, was, we was discussing about. Um, well, you told me, show me. I asked verse. you to show me show where me Jesus claims to be God. Is God. Okay. Okay. So now, and okay, then you brought up Alpha and Omega. I brought up Alpha and Omega, and also, I, then you completely also, rejected the same, uh, the same reference to another person. No, Melchizedek. it was not the same re re reference in Alpha and Omega. So you're saying he's not eternal? The no, the title Alpha and Omega was not given to Melchizedek. I agree. Agree. Okay. But he's eternal. So why are we discussing Melchizedek? Because we're talking about Alpha and Omega. One eternal in the Bible. God is eternal. Jesus is eternal. Okay. That's wait, is eternal. Wait, 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 but wait. what do you do is you only consider Jesus as eternal because that fits into your equation of the Trinity. Okay, let's let's I told you probably about I can understand, five times. I can understand five times. why you want to get away five from the no, 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 no. And I can understand you like that. Okay, so do you but agree? But I agree. I already you agree that have Jesus you agreed God? with me. Okay, you're Jesus. No, no. I I'm said Muslim. Jesus, according to that verse, is eternal. So that means he's God. And Melchizedek, according to Hebrews 7, 3, is eternal. Okay. Can we finish? Can we, is it a, let's not use semantics right now. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm you're using the word eternal. You're trying to twist the words right now. Eternal, okay. same what word. eternal it's mean? It's semantics. Is God, is God eternal? Yes. Only God can be eternal? Yes. According to that verse, did Jesus say he's eternal? Yes. So that also is God, Jesus saying he's God. Carry on with Hebrews. Is that According what? to Hebrews 7, 3, is eternal? Why are you dropping for Hebrews? Because Let's you don't like that verse. I brought revelation. It's do with revelation. So, why don't you like Hebrews 7, 3? I'm going to do with, I told you. Why? I need to look at that. I haven't looked at that. Let me look at that. Shall I show it to you? Not yet. Let me why? Just, let why are you afraid? Let, I'm not, I'm not, because it goes, it puts a hole in yours. And it, also it puts in, a hole in yours. How? Because you are now. Look, I'll tell you what. Oh I agree goodness. that Jesus is eternal. He I agree that God is eternal. So I agree. God. I agree. Melchizedek oh. is eternal. Do you worship Melchizedek? Forget the Melchizedek point. Why? Right? Because I told you. Because he is eternal. No, no, no. Can I told you. Can I tell you this? Can I tell you why I said that? I said to you clearly. Your argument is inconsistent listen. and has been refuted. No, no, no. Unfortunately. Oh, really? Bring yes. the verse. When? But wait a second. Bring wait a second. He just claimed that Jesus. You're holding, you're holding a strong point. Uh, so let, 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 look, let's look at the... You know there are verses in the Bible where, Jesus, not, where they clearly say that we, Jesus is God? I'll give you even better than that. Listen. And there are verses in the Bible where the judges of the Jew, Hebrews are called gods as well. Wait, okay. wait, wait. In John 10, 34, okay. yes, Jesus that's himself not, said that he are called God. That's not the point. Okay, what that do you want? That is not the point. That's not the point. I know you don't like those no, points no, 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 because no, no. they all put a hole in your equation. Guys, listen, listen. That's not the point. The point is... And let's let's be consistent, right? <laughs> you know, you're you're consistent. No, no, no. Let, let's be consistent. Seriously. Let's seriously, seriously. Let's be consistent. Then let's bring up Hebrews. We're going to be consistent. Why are we bring up Hebrews? Because then it's consistent. Then it's consistent. Yes. Why is it consistent? Yes. I tell you why. Because, because if you're going to bring eternity of Jesus, no, 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 bring no, no. the eternity of Melchizedek. Why do you need to bring in first someone else into the eternity of Jesus? Because only God when can be eternal. We, when we're only Did talking, we? when we're only talking about the title, I'm not Alpha and Omega. So why I don't capitalize on the title? 
of you. I'm not the one tapping the left. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, 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 listen. Right. Alpha and Omega in Revelation. This is what we're talking about. Revelation three, chapter two, 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 I've agreed with this one time. Okay. That yes, Revelations declares Jesus as eternal. Okay. What were you so on? What did you? What but was, why are you escaping from your question? Has been answered. No, it hasn't. What, it hasn't been answered. No. Really? No. You said. What was your question to me? My question is: Show me where Jesus claims to be God. Okay. Let's okay. stop there. Now, this is what he asked. I brought Revelation chapter twenty-two. Revelation chapter 22 says, I am the Alpha and Omega. So then we asked him. No, no, actually, you asked him. Have I already agreed with him? Then? So, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so, he, so now he's agreed as a Muslim that Jesus is God. No, I haven't. I said your Bible says this. <laughs> your Bible you says this. Your Bible says this. Shall I agree that Jesus is God? Amazing. Oh, I agree, Jesus is God. Yeah, fine, first time. Fine. You know what? When you put words in people's mouths like that, Okay. It doesn't. It doesn't put you in a very According good light. According to the video, you're going to be watching whatever. You said that only God can be eternal, yes. and also in Jesus' mouth, He is eternal. Yes. And I also said Melchizedek. No, because he's a casual. He's a casual. Melchizedek. Okay. You know what he excuses? You know, no, I haven't looked into no, it. No, 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 no. I haven't looked into it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Mean in this it doesn't matter. matter. We're focusing on one person, Jesus. Why? You're bringing Melchizedek. Why? To Why not? My point. Yes, yes. But that, you don't like that. But no, 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 no. But I told you that I haven't looked into the eternity or why, why, why have you not looked into it? For the for the for the purpose of this for this for this uh, discussion, I am trying to focus on Jesus and Alpha and Omega. The, of course the, you are. The, 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 so the arc, so the, your, your argument was that okay, Alpha and Omega is also given to Melchizedek. No, I, I, didn't said, say, I didn't say that. Don't lie. I didn't say Alpha and Omega is a title given to Melchizedek. What was you discussing? I about said the. Uh, shall I tell you what it says in the Bible? Wait. Tell me what you were talking about Alpha and Omega before. Right, let's read it from the Bible. Because you're trying, you're trying to force the discussion onto Melchizedek when I was trying to actually just. You know why? You know why I'm doing I'm that? I'm trying to actually establish that you believe you know now that Jesus is God. Hold on. Do you know why I'm doing that? I'm establishing that first. Shall I tell you why let's I'm doing that? Let's not ghost. I'm not going in circles. Shall I tell you why I'm you bringing Hebrews 7? Okay. You've, you've, you've proven that. Because the principle is this: the principle that we agreed it's upon true. is that Jesus, uh, sorry, is God is eternal. God alone. Can be eternal. No why, one. Let me finish. Why are talking about Melchizedek? You know, I kept quiet when, I, when you were talking. And let me, let me, let okay, me talk. Some, okay. In Hebrews 7:3, it says very clearly. This is talking about Mel Melchizedek or Melchizedek, you want to call it. It says without father or mother. Okay. Without genealogy. Okay. Without beginning of days. Okay. Or end of life. Okay. Resembling the Son of God. Okay. Okay. He remains a priest forever. Okay. Based on this, is Melchizedek eternal? He's not eternal. So what does beginning, no beginning of days, no end of life okay, mean? Okay, that, that could refer to being born on this planet Earth. So anyone, does that mean spiritually he has that beginning? So you're saying someone born on planet Earth doesn't have a beginning? What? It says there's no beginning of what, days? What, what does that mean? I said to you, when it says there's a beginning of days, that means a day means that you, you're born on this Earth. Right? It doesn't mean from eternity he hasn't been a spirit that was created in heaven like angels, like whatever. That's why I said I haven't looked into that. I can argue that. No point. beginning of days means oh what? Days. Beginning of days meaning he has no he was, he has no mother and father, he has no genealogy. Beginning Wait, of that's days. Mentioned. Meaning that he has meaning has not been born in flesh on this earth. No, it doesn't mean that. No, no, beginning, doesn't mean that? no beginning of days oh and no gosh. end of life. What does no end of life mean? It means that it's gonna live forever. Can anyone other than God live forever? Of course. So, us Christians, that's what the Bible says. So you will never die? Well, I will never die? Some some Christians will never will die. Will you never die? So, well, some Christians you will never die. Do you know what die. that means? Jesus says, let me say, Jesus says some Christians will never so he's die. So God died, but he'll never die. Listen, <laughs> listen, 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 Seriously, come on. No, 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 no. You don't listen to my words. You're just, I'm listening you're to you. To... I asked a clear question. Will you Jesus die or not? Says, Jesus says, some will never taste death. What does that mean? That they'll they'll be never immortal? die. Will they be immortal? They'll be immortal. They'll never okay. die. Can anyone they'll other transform? Than... Listen, my friend. This can, is what the Bible anyone... teaches. Why are you, you, you stop shouting? Can anyone okay. other than God be immortal? Yes. Yes. So why <laughs> does God? Wait, wait. Of course. Why does God in one Timothy six sixteen say that He alone is immortal? Uh oh, you didn't think of oh, that, oh, did you? First oh, oh. Timothy sixteen. Six sixteen. Yeah, say that. Okay, but then also. Wait, wait, in, wait, wait. In also, oh, oh, how are we going to translate that? Hold on a second. Yeah. Hold on a second. Fair enough, if that says that. But also, the Bible, the Bible also says the flesh will put on immortality, and that is not 
that person, the person speaking, is Paul speaking, right? So you don't, you don't agree with Paul's doctrine. Hold on. Can that's anyone other than that's Timothy? That's Paul speaking. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, can I finish my point? So what else does Paul say? Why are you? About why are you jumping? Can you? you I asked you. Wait, wait. I asked you. Can anyone other than God be immortal? Your Bible says no, and you're saying yes. Whom do I believe? The Bible or you? The Bible says no. Yes, the Bible says no one other than God. Show me where the Bible says yes. Show me where God can be immortal. Anyone other than God can be immortal. Yeah, I can't believe happily with each other. We can. I'll show. All right. I'll show you where. I'll show you. By the way. Are we friends or not? Yeah, of course we are. There you go. What are you going about, man? Stop butting in. We're having a discussion right now. All right. Okay. No. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I got an emergency discussion. Okay. No. 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 Just come back to you. Five minutes. Same. Same. Where we're same pool. For the corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Okay, that is uh, it, talking after life. Yes, that's this mortal. Is no, it talking after life? It's talking. This, listen, this is a deep. This is a graphic. So he contradicts himself. Then? No, it's not. This, yes. Okay. So anyway, so anyway, I'm going to 